Joining us now is the mayor of Passaic, New Jersey, Hector Laura. His town hit hard overnight. He spent much of the night surveying the damage. Uh, mayor Laura, thank you so much for your time this morning. We just saw you in Steph's story. Um, you and a, your team out trying to rescue folks from those flooded cars, from flooded homes as well. What's the status of the, uh, the, the search and rescue operation there? Well, our firefighters are preparing to go into the Passaic River this morning. We received reports that two young adults may have been swept into the river. Uh, last night, unfortunately, the city of Passaic did have a tragic loss of life of a 70-year-old gentleman who was, uh, who was trapped in his vehicle. Through the heroic efforts of our fire department, our police and emergency responders, family members were rescued out of the vehicle, and there were countless lives that were saved, not just in Passaic, but throughout the state of New Jersey. Unfortunately, the impact of the storm resulted in the loss of one life and potentially two more as we continue to investigate. We're dealing with the aftermath of the storm right now in Passaic. We have 60 individuals that we rescued and evacuated last night that are in City Hall right now. We're hoping to get them back into their homes, and uh, we're going to continue assessing the damage throughout the city. Obviously, vehicles can be repaired, property can be replaced, but life loss cannot be returned. And we are so grateful for our emergency responders, our police, our fire, who went beyond, above and beyond in their heroic efforts throughout the night to respond to every single call, whether alarms, trees that came down, but specifically rescuing individuals as we see abandoned vehicles throughout the entire city. It is evidence of the hard work of police and fire to rescue individuals that were stuck out in the storm. Mayor Laura, you, you were obviously expecting remnants from Ida, uh, but, but three inches falling in, in Central Park in an hour, uh, a half inch reportedly falling at Newark Airport in six minutes. It, it seemed as if uh, the speed with which this storm hit uh, caught a lot of folks by surprise. Were, were you guys caught off, caught off guard a bit? I believe just like every other municipality in the state as a whole and um, the tri-state area, we, we were caught by surprise. Obviously, we took the pragmatic uh, approach of cleaning our storm drains on Monday, ensuring that we had enough uh, resources in terms of staff, DPW, police, fire, but no one could predict that this storm would have uh, taken such a turn for the worse. The intensity of the rain, and as you already mentioned, uh, how quickly the rain came down, it, it caused and wreaked havoc throughout the city. Uh, there were certain areas in our city where uh, the streets were under six feet of water. We had firefighters swimming in the road as if they were in a river. We were grateful to receive a call from uh, Governor Phil Murphy uh, of the state of New Jersey uh, extending any uh, help and assistance, and we're going to continue assessing the damage. But right now, the uh, priority, again, is to uh, ascertain whether or not missing individuals are in hospitals, uh, whether we can find individuals who uh, weren't in their vehicles. And unfortunately, again, uh, our concern is that there may have been additional loss of life. Okay. Um, Passaic, New Jersey Mayor Hector Laura. Uh, Mayor Laura, best of luck to you and, and those, those uh, firefighters who are working so hard right now. Uh, our thoughts and our prayers are with, with you and the rest of the folks in New Jersey and all of the Northeast this morning. Mayor, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.